Like, let's start with how you're feeling physically. I imagine emotionally you're pretty excited right now, but physically, I mean, that was a heck of a fight. So what's, I mean, is, has the soreness started to set in yet, or how, how are you feeling this moment? A little bit, yeah. I feel like I got the shit beat out of me a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's talk about the emotional side of it. I mean, that was, that was a big fight, right? I mean, that was a you know, ranked opponent. It's a big moment. How are you feeling after a performance like that? Man, good. Uh, I really actually wanted to finish. I'm a little disappointed that it was such a close fight, to be honest with you, because I really wanted to finish... Um, what can you do though you know I, I'm really proud of myself for like I know this sounds weird but I'm really proud of myself for not quitting because I think that there's a lot of people even in the UFC that would have been in a tough fight like that and they would have folded and Andrea hurt me bad in the first round she hurt me bad to the body and I'd be lying like if I said that I didn't want to just sit down and quit you know what I mean but um, sure shit wasn't going to quit in front of my husband and my coaches I'm really, really happy to walk away with the win, and I know it was a close fight, and I'm really disappointed that people booed the decision, to be honest with you. I thought people would love the fight. Like, even when it was over, I was like, yes, it was a good fight, like, super jacked up. Like, and in my mind, I thought if I were a fan, I would be, like, on my feet screaming. But I don't know. I heard people booing. I don't know if that's just me picking out the negative or what, but, I mean, I hope most of the people at least liked the fight. Like, it was a tough fight, man. I don't, you know, I don't know. I think we've all learned that MMA fans boo at weird moments. And, and, and that is true, yeah. <laughs> that is true. That's a good point. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> no worries. Tell me, I mean, did you really have that kind of mental dialogue with yourself in the first round, though? Like, I could quit right now, but I'm absolutely not going to. Yeah, uh, no, not in the first round. It was more like in the third because she hurt me in the first and I was like, okay, I'm okay. I got this, I got this, I got this. And then I really was giving it 100%. Like I knocked her mouthpiece out. I was like, yes. And then I went for the flying knee and ended up on my ass and I was like, fuck. And then, uh, you know, it's just like this whole roller coaster. And then she had that uh, like anaconda position and it wasn't close, but I knew it looked bad. And uh, I don't know, I just, I, uh, I, was, I just knew it was a close fight and I didn't want to quit. And um, I was just hoping it would be enough, you know, like I really wanted to walk away with at least two checks tonight, maybe three. I'm really hoping maybe we'll get fight of the night. So hopefully it was bloody enough to get fight of the night. <laughs> never read the decision. The first two, obviously, you know it's going to be a split. But when you heard turn 27, you know it was yours? No, I had no idea. And I don't trust the judges anyway. Y'all know I don't trust the judges. Shit. <laughs> I've been, I've just been in too many close fights and I've been on... I've won fights I probably should have lost. I've lost fights I probably should have won. I've been in split decisions that I thought were clearly like one one way or the other. Um, even when I fought Mara, like I went to after the first round, I went and like sat down. I was like, we won that round. Like in my mind, I thought it was no brainer. We won that round. All three judges gave it to Mara. So it's like I, I you just never ever know. But in a fight like that that we had tonight, yeah, it's like I really hope I didn't just walk through hell to walk away with one check tonight. <laughs> Yeah, um, the only two women really in the top five that make any sense would be JoJo or Roxanne because, um, well, Caitlin's fighting tonight. Um, and Jessica I and Jennifer Maya have both missed weight. And in my opinion, they, they missed weight by a lot too. It's not like a half a pound miss. I mean, I think Maya missed by four and I missed by six. That's not okay. So the only two women, oh, and Viviani, but she's coming off a loss. But yeah, the only two women that make sense to me right now would be JoJo or uh, Roxanne. So, but I expect to see my name in the top five after this fight for sure. I think I proved tonight I'm a top five fighter. And then I don't know if you saw Roxy respond, but she said she would fight you as long as one you made weight and two you step on her foot. Roxanne, you know I'm always gonna make weight. What a thing to say. Ah. I can't promise I won't step on her foot though. <laughs> Mentioning Caitlyn's name, does that mean you're not picking her to win tonight? In the, in the, uh... No, I think Caitlyn's got a chance. Yeah. It just, uh, like, I, I don't know, we already fought anyway, but right. yeah, I think she's got a good chance. I just didn't really put it together. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's challenging for the title right now, and I think win or lose, it'll be a while before either of these girls fight again. Yeah. Yeah. You, look, you look like you were, like, very into this fight week, you know, during media day, and I think I even said to you during our interview that, like, it just seemed like you had a little more pep in your step this year. Was there anything different about this fight week or your preparation that really made you feel like you were going to come out of here? No, it's just my camp. They make me feel so good. I, like, I thanked them in the octagon, but I really do have the best team in the world behind me, and it's not, it's like a conglomeration of guys that kind of I've found through my journey. But um, Alex Cisne, 
He's MMA's best kept secret, I'm telling you. He's a striking coach here in Houston and he is phenomenal. And then Bob Perez, those guys are like family to me. And um, they they just make me feel so well prepared and so confident. I knew what my job was tonight. Um, I tried my very hardest to execute it, you know, but that really gives me a lot of confidence is like having a good game plan and having coaches that believe in me and I get to have a lot of success during my camp. Like they make sure that I'm able to execute my game plan during the whole camp so that when I get to the fight, all I have to do is fight the way I've been sparring for the last eight to 12 weeks, you know, and that really simplifies things for me. Like I don't want to have to think too much while I'm in there. I just want to be able to do what they tell me to do like I want to be almost like a robot and just execute what my coaches have trained me to do you know I mean and have fun while I'm doing it but um, I I never liked this idea of like just go fight just do whatever like I hate that it's like there's so it makes everything so open that you can't I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it gives me almost too many options and then I freeze up. So um, anyway, I love my camp and and yeah, they've made fighting really fun for me again. And then this was like my first uh, pay-per-view event. So it was my first media day and stuff. And I kind of learned like through my journey that if you're not having fun, you're in the wrong fucking sport. Like you have to have fun while you're doing this. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Speaking of preparation. Uh, you seem really poised tonight and calm, even in the stretches of the fight where maybe we were getting the worst of the action at the moment. Was there anything in terms of uh, Andrea's weapons or tools that surprised you or that, that you know, went differently than what you prepared for? No. Uh, no, I knew she was going to punch and kick me a lot. She was a little bit stronger than I expected her to be. Like, I really thought I was going to be able to take her down a little bit easier. And she dug her toes in on that fucking kick and it hurt really bad and that she hurt me bad in the first round that did kind of surprise me I knew I was going to probably eat a couple kicks but I was really not expecting to be hurt that bad awesome. thank you. all right thanks you guys yeah I'm glad we got done just in time to see Garrett <laughs> hell yeah thank you